Come on up here, I'm gonna have you face me. So you're gonna take your feet together for this and inhale, everybody reach your arms up, shoulders down, lengthen all the way up and then exhale, come down in a squat. When you come down, I want you to be aware of where you're coming. You're sitting back a little bit, but you're making a nice angle of the body. It's almost like a zigzag shape from the legs to the upper body, right? So you can see my shins moving forward. My arms are up, my tailbone is down. And what I'm doing here to keep that, instead of letting my tailbone pop up and letting my back bridge out or kind of open out into a back bend, I want to bring my tailbone down. So I'm kind of pelvic tilting here. I'm going to squeeze my belly button this fine and also see if you can kind of knit the ribs. So when you're doing that, you're drawing in a little bit tighter. If you can kind of put your hands there where your ribs are, you can feel that. Get a little bit lower. So I know your legs are working here. You're holding. You're going to come all the way up, still keeping the abs in. And then we're going to come back down again. So down here. Go ahead. Chest over thigh. A little lower this time. And then see if you can lift up your heels. We're gonna come from here all the way down. If you can, if you cannot put your hands down to help you, you can either come down to seated or you can come back to this position a little bit higher if that feels good. So we're gonna go into a twist. So draw your abs in, pull your belly button to spine, start to twist waist, ribs, and chest to your left. And then I'm making sure that my right knee doesn't push forward. So I can come down here, elbow down, and I'm turning a little bit more through the chest to the side wall. And then I'm gonna come back up and we're gonna go to the other side. So we're gonna twist to the other side, seeing if I can get my elbow over to the outside of the thigh. My top elbow can kind of move upward and I'm gonna move my chest to the side wall. Stay for another breath, pulling your belly in, and then come back to center. Good, see if you can kind of stack the arms here. Genie arms, hold it, good. This is one of my favorite things to work here. Can you let your knees come down so you control it down? If not, help it down. And we're gonna go ahead and move from here. So already you're like, wow, my toes are working, right? That's a lot of good footwork in itself. We're gonna move down here. So I want you to sit down, move your feet to one side, lift your knees, make sure your feet are about hips width apart. Hands come to the knees. Open the chest by taking the shoulders back, and this is one of my favorite spine flexes. And then on your exhale, tilt your ta tailbone forward, draw your belly button the spine. So that's another pelvic tilt. We do those to shorten the recti. Really important that we do that. Come back a little bit more. See if you can let go of the legs and hold here. Good. Squeeze your belly in, and then come back up to the top stacking up through the spine and lengthening on your exhale again. Tilt your tailbone forward, scoop your abs in, and come down. See if you can get down a little lower this time. As long as you can keep your feet planted, and then come up from here, and lift up and lengthen through the spine. One more time, just like this, I want you to come back. Good, scoop your abs in, come back, 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 and then go ahead and come up to the top. So we're gonna work a little bit on some rotation here. Wait to stack the arms again in those genie arms. So we're here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pelvic tilt and come back. This time, maybe not as low to where your low back is actually touching. You wanna be able to stabilize. Now you're gonna move. So we get that twisting. Same thing we just did when we were on our knees or kind of in that squat position. Turn waist, ribs, and chest to the side. Come back to center, turn to the other side. Come back to center, good. Keep twisting, so we twist to one side and then back to center, other side and back to center. Nice, and moving through this, keep drawing your belly button to spine, keep moving your ribs in toward each other. So if I'm keeping that pelvic tilt, I'm gonna feel that squeeze. We're gonna go once more to each side. Good, keep twisting here back to center, and then come all the way back up. Really nice, good, reach the arms out. We're gonna start to come down again. So we're gonna come down. This time, we really do wanna stay down, so I'm gonna see if you can actually get your low back to press into the mat. Once you do that, can you stay lifted? And can you lift your legs in a tabletop and hold? Turn your palms down, and see if you can extend your legs. 
Heels are together, toes out. So you're holding here. You can do this or you can keep your legs in tabletop, right? Whatever's working for you. We're gonna go ahead and move into our hundred. So you can even lower your legs down a little bit to your working angle, start to pump the arms. Legs can be tabletop or extended. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale and exhale, abs in tighter. Good, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale and exhale, abs engaged, inhale. And exhale, we're halfway there. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale out, really nice. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale out. Good, last one, breathe in. And then as you exhale out, go ahead and bend the knees in. Let the head and shoulders come down. And you can stay here for a moment, right? One quick moment. <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and move, move from here. So first you're gonna take your feet down so we can come into a bridge. I want your feet to be about hips width apart. And then from there, because you're bringing your heels closer to your hips, I want you to walk your feet in just a little bit closer than that. So my feet aren't touching, but I'm working my knees. They don't want to be out. They want to be straight up to in line with my feet. Hands at the sides. And then from here, I want you to feel that if you imprint the spine and you drop down, so you kind of add that little pelvic tilt, that again, you're kind of drawing in a little bit tighter through the abs and through the ribs and then press down through the feet and lift the hips into your bridge. So you kind of get that little pelvic tilt first, holding up at the top, abs in really tight. Good. So we're gonna stay here and we're gonna lift the right leg up into tabletop. Good, holding that leg in tabletop. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna let that foot drop down and lift it back into tabletop. And then take it back down and lift it back up. So what we're trying to work here is that the hips are not moving or rocking. We're able to really stay strong and stable. And we're gonna stay for four more. Good, three. This side is burning. <laughs> Two, in case you're wondering. One, hold up here. Extend your legs. See if you can really stretch it up there. Lift your hips a little higher. Maintain this. I want you to make little circles in the air. So you're going right to the right first. And then we'll go left. Little circles to the left. Little tiny. Good. And then from here, take the right foot down. Press down through the feet to lift the hips higher. And then we're gonna roll down through the spine. So really nice and gentle, come on down. Good. We're gonna go back into it again. That was just a break. Here we go, pelvic tilt and lift into your bridge. Wanna be able to make sure that we are keeping the line from the shoulders to the hips to the knees. Scoop your abs in tighter, hold here. Take your left leg to tabletop and then tap and lift. Good, tap it down and lift, and I'm keeping my hips really strong and stable throughout this. If you feel like you need to take your hips down and reset and come back up, you always can. Okay, we're gonna do five more. Good, four, last three. You can always put your foot down too if it's too much. Okay, last one, I want you to hold here. Lift a little bit higher, lift that left leg up to the ceiling, hold here. Now we're gonna draw little circles to the left. They're so tiny, because we don't want to shift in the hips, right? Abs are really engaged. We're gonna go once more than other side. So to the right. Good, and four, three, two, and one. And then foot comes down, lift the hips up one more time. Really lift here, and then lower down through the spine. Take your time. Really, as we lower down, see if this time, can you push down so letting every part of the spine melt into the ground so my hips aren't even down yet. I'm trying to take as much time as I can because that's really healthy for the back, okay? Once we are all the way down here, we're gonna take the knees and hug them into the chest because that feels good, <laughs> right? We want that. Now, we're gonna go ahead into our double leg stretch because we're here, so lift the head and shoulders. Abs are in and we're staying here. Now if you right away when you came up to head and shoulders lifted, do not like the feeling, keep your head and shoulders grounded. You can still do the same thing. On your breath here, I want you to extend 
your arms and your legs. Notice that the rest of my spine did not change. Exhale, I'm bringing it in and I'm rounding the arms. So I straighten to pull back. I'm keeping my arms long, I'm bending my knees in, but I'm taking a circle of my arms. So I'm reaching, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, I'm taking it back in. So really long and exhale, back in. Lengthen the legs. If you need to do this with one foot on the ground, working one leg at a time, you can also do that. So we're gonna go ahead here, finish off with four more. Good, last three, two more. And then last one here, go ahead, reach, pull the knees in, lower head and shoulders down. Once they're down, put your feet down and extend your legs out. I want you to flex your feet first and reach your arms overhead for a nice big stretch. I'm hitting the couch. So I'm gonna stay here. Go ahead and draw your abs in. I want you to point your toes forward. As you exhale here, keep your heels grounded and you're gonna to start to roll your body up. See if you can roll very slowly up here. I'm gonna keep my heels down. I'm gonna pull my belly in and I'm gonna roll up. We're gonna come back. So I'm really rounding the spine. I'm scooping my abs in here and I'm gonna come back down that same way. Now, if you feel like that was hard coming up, stay here so that you can come up and down without having to go all the way down, okay? So it's your option here. I'm gonna come down, reach back, and then draw my abs in, exhale, come up. So we're trying not to really use momentum to push ourselves up here. That's what makes this really working for us, right? We keep the, the arms less, the arms are less of a use to us, right? And our abs are doing the work, then we're really feeling that. So we're only going to do our last two here. So just our last two, keeping the breath in, keeping that movement here. Really nice. Good. So last one, unless I added one just for fun, right? Which does happen. <laughs> Scoop your abs in and reach, reach, reach. Really nice, everybody. Good job. And then hands come down, lift the chest. Good, so we're gonna go ahead from here into some planking, also fun, and <laughs> take your feet to one side. Come forward, when we come forward, we're in our uh, tabletop position, so we're on our hands and knees. Hands go directly under the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. Tuck your toes in right behind your knees, and you're gonna keep a long line. So notice I'm not lifting here, I'm not taking it down. So I'm staying really long and pressing through the arms, lengthening through the crown of my head. Lift the knees. So the knees are hovering off the mat and we're holding here. Now I want you to kind of move this from this short plank to long plank, right? So I want you to step back left and right and then step it in left and right and then step it back right and left and then step it in right and left and then we'll go left back and out and in. And, and if this is too much for you, you can stay on a plank on the knees or also come down to your forearms. So just keep seeing if you can get from left here and then right will be our last one. Good, so come back to your little short plank here. Knees are gonna come down. We're gonna go into a child's pose, so feet are together, knees apart. Sit way back on the heels and lengthen out. So. This is hard because we're staying on the hands for a lot. We're going right back into our plank. Remember, if you need to be on the forearms, you can. You can also stay on the knees. Walk your feet back. Now, in this, you might want to move the feet a little wider apart so you have a little bit more stability. We're going to work on lifting up a hand. So I'm trying not to shift in the hips. I'm going to lift and take it down. Other side, lift and take it down. Good. One more each side, lift and down. Good. Lift. Now, can you take just your left leg up and down? Nice. Just right leg up and down. Good. One more time each side. Up, down. Nice. One more. Now, knees come down. We go back into our child's pose. So we can stretch back. Now, I know because you're on the knees here, you're getting kind of a break, but we are going to make our way into a down dog stretch. So I want you to rock forward, tuck your toes in. There shouldn't be weight on the hands. You should be able to move chest to thighs and really push the weight toward the feet. See how that feels. Now, what we want to work on is opposition of lifting one foot, one knee. So I'm going to have you rock forward, 
or one foot, one hand, is what I probably should have said to make more sense. <laughs> Hold here. So we're lengthening back to plank. Can you in this one lift your right leg? And then can you lift your left arm off of the mat? Hold, 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 and then take it down. Now, if you need to do this on, in a tabletop, you can. Left leg up, right arm up. Hold, 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 take it down. Let's move a little faster. Right leg up, left arm up, switch, left leg, right arm. Switch, right leg, left arm. Left leg, right arm is your last one. And down with the feet, down with the knees. And then we're gonna come down to the forearms. So you need it. <laughs> need to be on the forearms for this one. Okay, we're gonna stay here. I'm gonna let my toes relax against the mat and lift my right leg up to the ceiling, flexing my foot. I'm holding here. I'm gonna take my knee down a little and lift up and down a little and kick it up. Nice, down and lift and down and lift. So we're gonna do a lot of one arm, one leg oppositional work today. Really good for our core. We're gonna stay for five more like this. Good, four more. Last three. Good, two. And one, and then I want you to hold that leg up. See if you can press your hands down. Lift yourself up onto your hands now. Extend your right leg out. Can you take your left hand off the mat? Turn your palm in. Now we're gonna go ahead and work just the lift of the leg. So I'm gonna take the toes down and lift the leg. Toes down and lift the leg. My arm is staying stable. My hips are staying squared. My chest to the floor also. So staying here really strong. Nice. Five more. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Hold up. Now only your arm is going to come down and up. Right? Down and up. So working through the back of the shoulder. All right. Abs in for five more. Four. Good. Three. Two, hold up, both down and up. So both my leg and my hand come down and up. I'm staying stable and strong, finishing for five. Four more, three, two more. Last one, hold up. Now I'm gonna bring my arm out to this side and I want you to take your leg out to this side. So it's out. No, I'm going to stay facing you so you can see what that means for my leg. It's coming around and forward. I'm holding here. Now I'm going to take my foot down and up. Down a little, up a little. Right, working here. So I'm staying strong. Now if this is too much, my hand comes down to the floor and I'm still working here. All right, five more. This one feels hard. Four, way worse. Three, good. Two more, last one. Now I'm gonna put my foot down and I'm gonna actually turn my foot to the side. So all the way away from me with the toes, seeing if you can balance and come up. Good, so I'm turning the toes away, staying here. Now we're gonna work a little bit more into a quick stretch and then we're gonna open up and work into our side. So I want you to bend the knee and notice how when I come down, I'm kind of sinking down. So I should be right knee, forward here on my left. And then I come back, press it out. Notice what this leg is doing. I'm shifting in the hips to move to that side. And I'm gonna press. Now my hands are gonna come behind the head. I'm gonna dip down to the left and then come up. Good, and come down and control it. Exhale, squeeze to the top. So we're here. Can you think about, again, and drawing your belly button to your spine. And when I'm thinking about kind of closing in the ribs, usually what I'm thinking about is, again, can I kind of work the transverse abdominals that wrap around my back? Can I squeeze them back so that whole panel of my belly comes back and draws in really tight? I want you to stay here for four more. So come down and up. Good. Three more. Nice. Last two, and then last one. Good, now since we're already here, 
We're gonna go into a side plank, but we're gonna be on the forearm. So what I'm gonna have you do is come down here. You can let the hips come down, sink all the way down. Make sure that your forearm is down here on the mat and you're keeping your elbow in line with your shoulder. So in this position, if you like your knee bent, you're gonna come onto your knee, okay? Otherwise, I like to do this Either top foot is gonna stagger in front so I can get more stability, or I'm gonna make it the hardest by stacking my feet. I'll show different levels as we move, but lift the hips, come into this. This is your side plank. Here's your moment, right? We get to be on the forearm, that's good because we're on the hands a lot. Scoop your abs and lift your hips higher. As you exhale, I want you to do a big twist down. My hand is coming down to the inside of my other arm and I'm wrapping it around. I'm coming all the way to twist back up and I'm twisting back down, turning, turning, turning to the bottom, turning back up, right? Good, we're gonna do four more like this. Good, if you need your knee down, you can still do that. Three more, good. Last two, really drawing in tight. Good, last one, abs in, and then come up, hold, 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 hips a little higher, and then hips come down. Really nice, lower down to your forearm here. I know we have a whole sequence we're doing before we go to the other side. I'm staying down, still on my forearm. I'm gonna take my top hand up, or my top elbow up too. So I'm keeping hands behind me. And this, really hard, right? Because our transverse abdominals are trying to control this from happening, that rocking of the body. Now you're gonna stay here, you're just gonna lift your top leg up and bring it down. And exhale, squeeze it up, take it down. <clears throat> Good. Lift here and lower. Now, if you feel like you can actually lift a little with that bottom leg too, see if you can lift the bottom leg and then lift the top leg from there. So you can work it a little bit harder, right? This is where I'm like, ah, can I still balance, <laughs> right? Abs in, we only have five more like this. Nice, four, really good, three, two more. And then last one, feet together. If you are up, take it down. Lift your top leg up only to about hip height, maybe a little higher. Do a little circle here, kind of moving the foot back away from you, abs in really tight, so we don't rock, and we'll go the other way. Little small, little small circle, very nice. From here, we're gonna go ahead and take that foot down, and then we're gonna go ahead and take that top hand for support. Now I'm gonna go ahead and push myself up. I'm gonna come to face the other direction and come back to hands and knees. When I start here in my hands and knees, I'm also gonna lower down to my forearms. So I'm staying here first, and I'm gonna take my left leg up here. So working that left leg, so I'm flexing the foot, and then I'm gonna take that knee down. I'm gonna push that foot up. Good, knee comes down, and we lift that leg up. So we have our entire sequence to work here on this side. So we'll feel it at the end, right? Five more, everybody. Good, four, really good, three, Last two, and then last one, can you hold your leg up, but then press your hands down and come up and hold. Good, that's what I wanna see you doing, holding here, and then lengthening that leg out. Now, see if you can lift your right hand off the mat so you have that opposition working. This is your spinal balancing. My toes are facing down so that I'm working only in the glutes. Now, I'm only gonna work the leg. I'm gonna tap the toes and lift the leg. You can tap or get as close as you want. I'm actually getting close to the floor without tapping in most of mine, but you can do either one. So I'm staying here really strong, working only on my left arm. Good, five more. Four more, last three, two more, and hold it. Now only my arm is gonna come down and up, and down, and up. And because we already worked the other side, we're like, ah, this is a lot. <laughs> Five more, good job. Four, you're doing great. Three, Two, now can you do both? We're gonna come up with both and down with both. So my leg and my arm, same time, coming down and up. Good, strong on my left arm, staying stable, everybody. Don't rock in the hips, stay strong for five. Good, four, 
Last three. And two. And then one here. I'm gonna bring my arm out to the side and I'm gonna take my leg out to the side as well. So I'm turning my toes. You wanna see me staying this way? I come around and facing that way, right? So I turn the toes, come out. Now I'm gonna put the foot down. I'm gonna lift the foot up. Foot down, foot up. Now if my hand wants to be down for more stability, keep it down. Five more. And four, my foot doesn't want to stay on the mat because it's hard. Three, good, two, and one. Now I'm going to put my foot down, turn my toes out to the side wall, see if I can balance and come up. Good. So once we're up here, again, we'll do that quick little stretch so we can kind of bend the knee and work down so my right leg is bending to come down, my hip sinks down, and then I push away, lengthen that leg. Do that again, come down, knee moving out, come down. Good, come up, hands are behind your head. You're gonna dip down to the right and up to the top. And coming down and up to the top. Very nice, five more. Your abs are working, staying here to the side. So that's that side bend, good. Three more, I think, unless I added one. <laughs> Two, good, and one. And come up to the top, hold here. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and work down to our side plank. So I'm gonna help myself down here. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that bottom leg out and come down so where my forearm is in line or down in my shoulders in line with my elbow. So you can come down on your knee to lift in a side plank. You can stagger your feet or stack. Lift the hips, come up. Crown of the head is away from you, really long. Pull the belly and hips high and exhale. Twist, twist, twist. See if you can turn and come down and then come all the way back up. Exhale, do it again. Very nice. We get to do four more, <laughs> four more. We get to, right? It's a bonus, <laughs> three. Helps us to think about it that way. Good, two more. Last one. Come up, hold it up, hips higher. Good, and then go ahead, lower down. Now we're gonna lower down to where we're staying all the way down here. My elbow is down and my hand is behind my head. So I'm gonna stay here, top hand behind my head as well. And then I'm just gonna lift my top leg. Exhale to lift and take it down, right? So I'm really trying to stay super strong here and minimize any rocking. So if I'm having trouble, your hand can always be here to help. And if you feel like you're okay, lift that bottom leg too. See if you can hold that and then lift your top leg up and down. This is where I always think this is way worse because my whole body does want to shift, right? So I'm really squeezing my abs in. So exhale, lift, take it down. Good, stay stable, we're almost there. Give me five more, four more. Good, three, last two, and one. Okay, feet together. We're gonna lower the feet down. Now we're just gonna lift the top leg. Up to hip height, doesn't need to be much higher than that. I'm gonna make little circles going back, little circles. Draw the circles, abs in tighter. Keep it moving, good. Other direction here, nice. So we're gonna finish off with our last two, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the foot down. Good, now from here, we're gonna go ahead and take that top hand down. We're gonna help ourselves come back up, and this is where we're gonna come back to our plank position. So hands are underneath the shoulders, and we're gonna walk the feet back. So back to plank, and then lift the hips, and pike up the hips. This is a down dog stretch though, really, because instead of just piking and staying on the toes, see if you can push your heels back a little bit to stabilize, because what I want you to feel is, can you lift, your hand up off the ground, just a little bit. My, my right hand, right? And then my left hand. And one more time, each one. So my right hand without shifting too much. And my left hand. Now I'm gonna lift just my leg. So I'm gonna lift right leg. I'm gonna flex through my foot to lift my leg. Right leg or left leg, back to right leg. 
and then back to left leg. Now, this one, it feels even harder than a plank, I think, but see if you can lift your right leg and see if you can get your left hand up. And it might be like how my mine was very short lived, right? It came up and then it was like, ah, okay, foot comes down, let's try the other side. So lift your left leg and see if you can lift your right hand. I usually walk it in first, lift, and then if I need to replant, replant, and then I try it again. So I'm in here, I'm lifting my hand, putting it down, hand comes down, foot comes down, we stretch, and then we go to child's pose to stretch again. Knees come down, feet are together, knees apart. We sit way back on the heels to get that stretch back. And then we're gonna walk the hands in. Good, so we get to work a little bit more with that same thing we just did. So move the feet to one side, keep the knees in front. So extend your legs and when they come out, and this is like we're doing a bridge, but we're on the hands. So if you feel like any pressure in the hands, I'm gonna have you come up from this position and lift that way, okay? If you do not, I want you to come up from extended legs and extended arms. So you'll have the legs out, feet about hips width apart, hands at your sides, but your hands are next to your feet, or next to your hips, so they're hip, hips width apart. When I come back, I gotta get my elbows back and shoulders down, so notice I've been there so I can lift my hips up, push my feet forward. Now we're all in a bridge, either you're on your forearms or you're staying lifted here. Either one, okay, this is where we do fun. <laughs> lift your right leg, lift it up, good. See if you can lift and then take it down. Other side, lift the hips high, left leg lifts, flex the foot, calm down, good. One more time each side. Right leg lifts, take it down, good. Left leg lifts, take it down. Now, can you get your right hand to lift? <laughs> and then take it down. It's hard, I know. See if you can not really shift in the hips, lift left arm. Take it down, one more time each side. So I'm gonna lift and reach. I'm gonna take it down. Other side, lift and reach. Take it down. Now I want you to actually push your hips all the way behind you and come all the way down. We need to take a little break off the hands, that's a lot there. So I want you to flex your feet, reach your arms and lengthen the body. So this one is that lengthening and I want you to start to pull the belly in and you're gonna do that roll forward here. See if we can do this, come forward. Now we're gonna roll back. Remember, if you're rolling down, see if you can get all the way down to the floor. Feet are gonna stay flexed. If that doesn't work for you, then come down halfway. So rolling back up to the top, scooping our abs in, reaching, 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 and then coming back. Very nice. One more. We're gonna come up and hold it. That was our break from the hands. Hope we liked it. <laughs> hands come down next to the hips. Chest lifts, shoulders down. Here we go, press down, and we're gonna lift the hips and come into our, kind of our bridge, but this is usually considered a reverse tabletop because we're opposite here. Now, can you lift your right leg up? So see if you can really lift it up, but can you balance and take your left hand off the mat and reach, 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 and then switch. So I'm taking it down, I'm gonna lift left leg, and I'm gonna lift right arm, I'm gonna flex the foot, reach foot to hand, and then take it down, maybe a little quicker. So I'm gonna take right leg, left arm, and down, left leg, right arm. If you wanna do this on the mat, do this like this. Get some opposition of the body, you can still do that. One more time each side, reach, and reach, and then we get to lower down. Okay, hips behind you to lower down. Extend the legs, stretch, lower down, really nice. Pull the knees into the chest and balance right here. So you're balanced and holding, good. I want your hands behind the knees to support your body, abs in. Now I'm gonna extend right leg up and take it down. Left leg up and take it down. Now, those of you who are really tight in your hamstrings, and I know as much as I am warm here, my hamstrings have not been like stretching the entire time, right? So I got a little closer, but I'm not getting to full extension most of the time. See if you can just keep your hands behind your knees. If you do not need that because you're already getting a good extension, hands can come out and you can go ahead and just extend one leg at a time there. And then if you think it's fun, you can also extend both legs. 
both legs up and down. Good, feet come together, then feet apart and lift. Yes, lift. Good job, everybody. Keep your chest high. Good, I'm trying not to rock anything else. Four more. Really good. Three more. My legs don't want to straighten. Two, we gotta really stretch after this one. <laughs> stretch, feet come down. One more time, lengthen the legs here. When we flex the feet, I want you to feel a little bit more of that stretch through the back of the legs. So exhale, spine long, I'm gonna hinge at the hips and I'm gonna reach my feet, or my, my feet with my hands, right? My hands are reaching that way. So holding here. And then from here, I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna move my feet to one side. So feet come back kind of to that side uh, and we're gonna come forward on our bellies. So when we come forward, this will give us a chance to get a little bit more open through the chest, but without our hands staying down, right? Because our hands have been working a lot. So I'm gonna stack one hand on top of the other and that way I can let my forehead rest down. Most of the time you'll see me try to look towards you though and that's good to work too, okay. So I'm staying here and I'm gonna work on just the lift of the legs. So just the legs lift and come down. And I'm trying not to bend at the knee here like this, right? I'm trying to just lift the thighs and lower, right? Lift the thighs and lower, abs in. Can you pull like you're trying to pull your belly button off the floor? Now when I'm doing that, you can't see that I'm doing it, right? So you're not seeing me move this way, but I'm pulling my belly button off the floor, right? I'm trying to squeeze ribs in. Now I'm gonna hold up at the top, hold up at the top, take your feet apart, take your feet together. Take your feet apart, feet together. Good, four more. Good, three, two more. And last one, good. Now I'm gonna lower my feet down and I'm gonna extend my arms out in front. So this is where we've done today all opposition, one arm, one leg, right? Tons of it. So now I'm gonna have you lift your right leg up and your left arm up. And then switch, while you're in motion here, you're switching to left leg, right arm. Switch, 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 switch. Pull belly off the floor. See if you can constantly always have both feet off the ground, right? Or when that switch, both feet get off the ground when you're switching, so you keep moving here. I'm like, which leg is lifting? <laughs> okay, I think I got it. All right, four more. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Hands are gonna come down kind of underneath your shoulders, and I want you to lift up a little bit more and open up the chest. From here, I want you to just come onto the knees, so I'm gonna press myself up and stretch back here. So notice I'm not in a child's pose, I'm gonna kinda of tuck in my toes and shift my weight back, letting my chest drop down a little bit and getting that good stretch. This is like a little puppy pose, okay? So not quite a down dog. But we're gonna do one more plank. So hands under shoulders, I'm gonna push myself forward. See how I came right from the knees? I want you to do that again. So I come back and then I push forward to a plank. And then I want you to come back Knees hover, shift forward to plank. So we go back and we push. Good, and we go back. We use the legs and push. Abs are in, we come back and we push. We've only got four more. So four, nice, three, good job. Two, and then last one. Come back to plank, hold plank. See if we can maintain this. If you need your forearms down, keep your forearms down. Draw your abs and ribs in. And then from here, you're gonna lift your tailbone up, pike up the hips, and stretch it back. So you're in your down dog stretch. In this, I like to widen my feet apart a little bit to stretch a little bit more. See how that feels, and then can you bend your right knee, and as you do, press that left heel further, further back, and then switch. So I'm gonna bend my left knee, push my right heel further down. Let's go one more each side. So right knee bends, left heel presses, and then other side. And then from here, both legs straighten, both heels work down, and then knees come down. And this is where we're probably sliding anyway, right? Feet together, knees apart. Sit way back on your heels for a stretch here. 
Good, and then from here, go ahead and walk your hands back in. So what I want to work here is kind of that first thing we did where we're balanced on the toes again, so we can work a little bit more. I'm gonna stay facing you. So I'm gonna bring back genie arms, and I'm gonna take my toes and tuck them into the mat, so they look like that, okay? So toes tuck in, I'm gonna sit back. So I'm still on my toes. This is where it gets more fun, or it doesn't. <laughs> okay, see if you can pop your knees up and balance. Whoa, <laughs> pop your knees up and balance. See if you can, put them down. Pop your knees up and balance. Put them down, right? So it might be that sensation where you're like, whoa, right? Like when I was saying that lift up and balance, lift and lower down, and you might be like, ah, oh, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of core. Do you feel that in your abs? You lift and you lower, right? And that's what you're doing. One more time, lift, lower, hands down. This is where I want you to feel a little bit more of that sitting back on the heels a little bit more. So a lot of toes working and usually Pilates and yoga, they're like the only two times where we're actually working in our toes, which is really amazing, right? So pressing down a little bit more this way and then come forward. And what I want you to do from this forward stretch is actually let your hands come down kind of where your knees are. See if you can lift your knees a little bit and then press your heels, walk your hands in so that you're kind of rounded down over the legs. So round, let your head come down and go ahead and look side to side. So now we get that nice stretch of the legs here, bringing that length. Make sure your toes are parallel and you're not turning outward of the feet. Okay, from here, come back to center, scoop your abs in. We're gonna roll all the way up to the top. Once we're up at the top, reach your arms to stretch. Exhale, hinge at the hips. This time it's a hinge and it is not that rounded spine. So notice the difference here. And I'm coming forward. This is where I'm stretching my legs more. Thank goodness, right? If you're really tight in there, you're like, this feels great. Or it doesn't <laughs> because it's a lot of work. My hands are only to my shin, but I'm continuing to walk lower. So with my long spine, can I get my hands down, right? That's where I'm trying to work. So I'm trying to keep a long spine, but I'm trying to work my hands down my legs, which I think always feels really hard to get that to work. And now we're gonna go ahead. Hands are gonna be down if you can kind of bend your knees. And I want you to bend your knees and come back to the toes and balance. So notice how I came back to that same thing where we were working one more time, balancing at the top, stacking the arms. This time, if you can, just lower down. You're done with that part. And you're just gonna let your hands come down. And then we're gonna move the feet to one side. And we're gonna go back into our little boat lift here. So how we're gonna do that is I want you to stretch your legs out like we're gonna, like we're gonna do a stretch again. Our feet are flexed and I'm gonna reach and lengthen, but I'm gonna pull the belly in. I'm gonna start to come back a little bit, a little bit more. Seeing if I can hold this, can you lift your legs up too? Now this is hard because we're very low. So we're still maintaining this low position, flex the feet, scoop our abs in, hold it here. Can we come up a little, down a little, <laughs> up a little, down a little, three more. Abs in time, two, good, last one, lower all the way down. See if you can stretch those arms overhead, flexing your feet and lengthening here and seeing how that feels. And then from here, we're gonna hug both knees into our chest, hug them back in, arms open, knees fall to the right, keep the feet and knees stacked, left shoulder stays down, on your breath in, take it center. We'll go to the other side. So feet and knees stacked, my shoulder, my right shoulder is down. I'm trying to move to that side for my rotation. When I come back up on my next breath, I'm gonna shift back up and then hands behind the knees. Good, we're gonna rock ourselves up. So you're gonna use your abs to pull, let your legs help you come up, balance, good. And then from here, feet down. So I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna face forward and just stretch legs out one more time. Feet are slightly wider than your mat, mat width, okay? So a little wider than that. We're gonna go ahead and reach the arms up. Big stretch here, exhale down. One more time, reach and lengthen. And this is where we're stretching out the legs as well to keep that lifted chest. Exhale, press down. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, everybody, please let me know.